Howdy music fans, thanks for joining me today for another episode of Superstars of Country. Today I'm going to do Hank Williams. Now I was debating doing Hank at all because I already did a Hank Williams on my box sets and that's the majority of what I have. But uh, Low Noise Skills, J uh, Low Noise Jason Skills saw something in my backlog and uh, I thought, well, if I combine that with what I have on the shelf um, and then just do a quick brief reshowing of my box sets, then I'll do Hank Williams, because he is, after all, one of the greatest of all time in country music. Um, don't know if he wrote all those songs, but certainly he had at least skeletons, and he, he went to Fred Rose with a lot of his songs, and Fred Rose cleaned a lot of them up. But he also wrote a lot of them um, himself all the way through, I believe. But so he would come to Fred Rose with a raw idea, or a skeleton, or a maybe a finished song, and Fred Rose would kind of nuance it a little bit. But still, Hank Williams is definitely one of the greatest songwriters and singers, country singers and songwriters of all time. So let's get to it. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to zip through the box sets because I've already shown them, and I'll put a link to my last to my Hank Williams box sets video down below. This is all of the um, mo complete Mother's Best recordings. Plus, I got this as a gift. I think when I showed it to you, I think that this part was coming up on one of these sides, and that has since been repaired, and it's shaped like an old-time radio. And it does that. And then on the back, it also looks like it. And inside is about 15 or 16 CDs, a DVD, and a book. And that's all looks like this. I'm not going to go through the book because I've already done that. <clears throat> and they're complete shows, 20 minutes each or whatever they are, but they're, they're, they're complete and they have all the commercials. So that's a little bit frustrating and you can't really separate them out even in iTunes because they, that's, they, they didn't put the brakes naturally where they would normally fall, which is weird. Um, so, yeah, you get a commercial and a song or whatever. Anyway, there's that. That's mostly a collector's piece. Like I say, it was a gift. Um, then Pictures of Life's Other Side came out, I think, last year. Um, and this is the Mother's Best radio transcriptions without all of the... Um, it's newly remastered and without all the commercials. And, and it's got this gorgeous book, which I've also shown you um, in the other video. And the CDs lay in there like so. First three... And then the next last three. Um, so anyway, this is a nice, much nicer way to have these. Um, they're, they're, they sound pristine. Um, there's absolutely, you know, no reason not to have these. And there's the lead sheet that shows you everything that is in this set, including all of the songs. Alrighty, <clears throat> that's all the mother's best stuff. And then. Um, a long time ago when I was a bartender, a bunch of my um, customers got together on the behest of one. Did I say that right? I don't know. And got me this for my birthday, um, which now if you find it, it's pretty pricey. I saw it the other day for 160 bucks in the store used. Um, it's a gorgeous set. Again, I'm not going to go through it all because I've already done that, but it's got a nice booklet and it's got 10 CDs. And at the time, and they're all housed in, this, in that booklet in there. And there's postcards and other stuff in there. And at the time, oh, and there's more postcards here. There's other stuff under the book. At the time that this came out, um, it was thought to be pretty much everything. It even is called the complete Hank Williams, winner of two Grammy Awards. Why would they put a sticker right on the actual thing? Oh, my God. Um, best historical recording and best boxed recording package. Those are the, the Grammys that it uh, won. There's the set, and it is it is incredible. It is gorgeous. It is fantastic. It is organized nicely, and it is just wonderful to have all of this material. Um, and it ranges in quality from you know okay to excellent, and most of it being really really good. There's a very little bit of it that's like eh, it's okay, like maybe a CD's worth or something like that. Not a lot. Okay, then they came out with these Time Life sets. Um, I forget which one was first. The unreleased recordings. I think this one was first. Hank Williams' the unreleased recordings. And these are all three CD sets with a booklet in them. And again, I've shown these before, so I'm not going to go into them at length. But these um, 
are lots of, um, you know, unreleased, supposedly unreleased recordings. Uh, they're always saying that. Um, and uh, I don't know if there's any live stuff on here. There is stuff from Luke the Drifter, which is not my biggest, uh, my favorite stuff of his. Then the, uh, the unreleased recordings again, Hank Williams revealed, and this one is also a three-disc Time Life set. And it's no repetition from the other one. It's all, they came out with this one later. And it's the same, same packaging, same layout, nice booklet, three CDs, bang. And this one, I believe, does have a, a bonus, a complete <laughs> Mother's Best show. And then there's Luke the Drifter. Um, a, a, oh, there's a bonus, complete Mother's Best show on each disc. One disc is called The Hits Like Never Before. One is called Southern Harmony, and one is called Luke the Drifter, which is his um, alter ego where he does religious stuff, um, kind of like a, well, like a talking blues where the band plays behind him and he just talks hymns or um, whatever. And he, he wrote that stuff, I believe. Um, all right, but if you are going out to get some Hank Williams, all you need, really, all you really, really need is this, The 40 Greatest Hits. This has everything um, that you would, that any casual country or casual Hank Williams fan could possibly want. Um, and it's cheap and it's easy to find and it's, you can find it used, you can find it new, I believe. You can find it on cassette, you can find it on CD, you probably can find it on vinyl, but since I don't do vinyl anymore, I don't know how readily available it is on vinyl, but this has got, you know, his... 40 greatest hits and it really is chock full of just great wonderful material um move it on over mansion on the hill love sick blues wedding bells uh, mind your own business you're gonna leave you're gonna change or i'm gonna leave lost highway on and on and on hit after hit after hit so this is just a fantastic set and that's really all you need unless you're like me an obsessed crazy nut hank williams fan um and i do love lots of other songs beside what's on that okay then i have this called um i will uh, i won't be home no more june 1952 to september 1952 volume three and i saw this one day in the store used i think and i realized i didn't really have what's on it um i can't even tell what's on it let's see if i can tell you what's on it Studio recordings, live recordings, other um, overdubbed non-session recordings, undubbed non-session recordings. There's a, uh, th I'm gonna, th I'll get to that in a minute. Luke the Drifter, studio recordings and spoken recording, an apology. There is an incredible song that he has done called Fool About You. Oh, here it is too. It's, it's on the overdub. And they overdubbed some terrible backing vocals as they were wont to do back then. Um, and there is a recording of that somewhere in here that does not have the overdub, and it's just great. It's badass. Um, a lot of people have covered the song, Fool About You. It's just a really great rockin' kind of honky-tonk rocker. Um, it's a really good, great song. Ronnie Dawson, the rockabilly king, even covers it, um, covered it. So anyway, there's that. Then there is this, the Health and Happiness, Complete Health and Happiness Shows. I just saw a two-disc version of this in the record store today. Um, and not the day that this is that I'm that this is gonna post, but the day that I'm filming this. Um, and this is supposedly the complete health and happiness shows, radio shows. There's another version of it that um, looks a little different. I like this one because I think it's just cooler picture on the front and the first one is a is an illustration or, or of sorts, and um, I think this one's remastered also, newly remastered, and sounds great and uh, just better. And it, I don't know if it has more. There, I think they're both called the Complete Health and Happiness Shows, and they sold lots of Hadacol, which is a well, snake oil basically. <laughs> I think it was billed as your kind of home remedy to everything. Okay, um, the next is a compilation that I made that has 27 songs on this side, and I don't know, it looks like 33 songs on this side, so that's like a 50-song compilation that I made. And this is what um, Lenoise Jason Skills saw in my backlog. And I picked that up a couple weeks ago because it was 10 bucks and it was four, um, eight albums on four CDs. It doesn't show, it, there's not much going on here. There's, there's no booklet or anything like that. It's just the CDs. It's very sparse. 
but I thought it'd be really cool to have this because um, it's just a nice piece, but it also has, um, then I can hear these songs uh, in the order that they came out on the albums, which is kind of interesting. Um, and it looks like, I don't know if there's bonus tracks on here, let's see. Um, yeah, it looks like there may be, it's hard to tell. Um, but anyway, the albums, oh boy, I can't even tell, four CD, eight classic albums, to say what they are, anywhere in the font that I can read. <laughs> um, I Saw the Light is one of them, Ramblin' Man, and then, um, as Luke the Drifter and a Memorial Album, Moan in the Blues, Honky Tonkin, Sing Me a, a Blue Song, and The Immortal Hank Williams. So those are the albums that are on here. And the last thing I have, I think I may have shown in my Tributes um, albums um, video, my contest one, and this is a tribute that's called Timeless to Hank Williams. And it's pretty wonderful. It's got some great, great acts on it. Um, it's got Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Lucinda Williams, Keith Richards. Um, God, I forget who else, but I will read it off to you. I think Emmylou Harris is on this, and it might even have Beak. Some or might some of you might call him Beck. I'm not sure if he's on. I think he's on here. Um, yeah, this is a wonderful, wonderful tribute album, as, as tribute albums go. Bob Dylan, well, there you go. Cheryl Crow, Keb Moe, Beak, Beck, sorry. Uh, Mark Knopfler and his band, Tom Petty. Uh, with, I'm pretty sure with the Heartbreakers, although it doesn't say it. Keith Richards, Amy Lou Harris, Hank Three, who's fantastic. Ryan Adams, eh, Lucinda Williams, and, well, Johnny Cash. So, all right, folks, um, that's that. I don't know where my little... <laughs> there it is. Um, anyway... Uh, yeah, so Hank Williams, one of the superstars of the country. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and have a good day. Bye.